Hello friends, my name is Paresh and you're watching Tech Dynamics. In this video, we are going to discuss about GL account categories and subcategories and also how you can maintain them. So keep watching and stay tuned. Now you can personalize the structure of your financial statements by mapping general ledger accounts to the account categories and subcategories. Now the GL account categories windows actually shows you the categories and the subcategories and the GL accounts that are assigned to them. And you can create new subcategories and assign those categories to existing accounts. Now you create a category group by indenting other subcategories under the line in GL account categories window. Now this makes it easy for you to get an overview because each grouping shows a total balance for example, you can create subcategories for different types of assets and then create category groups for fixed assets versus current assets. So you can specify whether an account in each subcategory must be included in specific type of reports. The account categories actually help define the layout of your financial statement. Now, as a user, I can only choose the account categories which are predefined. There are six predefined account categories that I can choose from, but I cannot create the account categories. So just to show you again, let's click on finance module, click on chart of accounts, and choose an account over here, let's say stock sales. So over here, you can see that I have account category and there are six categories that I can choose from, but I cannot create account categories. However, as far as the account subcategories are concerned, I can actually create as many account subcategories as I want. So as you can see, you can actually um, access the account categories and subcategories from the GL account itself. But to set up the GL account categories, you can also go to the role center and under finance, you can click on GL account categories. Now this will open the list of all the GL account categories, but you need to pay attention over here that the description shows the account subcategories over here and the field account category shows the account category. So there can be many account subcategories which are linked to account category and each subcategory can have a GL account or multiple GL accounts associated uh, with them. So if we scroll a little down uh, to the expenses, we'll see that there are lots of expenses provided over here. And some of the expenses like advertising expense have the GL account associated with them and they have the account category, of course, as an expense. However, we have insurance expense over here which is not mapped to any GL account categories. So what we can do is let's say we'll try to create a new subcategory or let's say multiple uh, subcategories over here. So for that we need to first click on manage and edit list which will open the GL account categories in the editing mode and then what we can do over here is click on new and let's say we add building insurance over here. Let's add another one called car insurance. So there we go. We have building insurance and car insurance over here. But I want to group these two subcategories under insurance expense. So what I can do is I can select the subcategory, click on process and click on indent. And the same for building, process and indent. So you can see over here how the car insurance and building insurance are now grouped under insurance expense. All right, now uh, to map these subcategories to the GL account, I need to specify the GL accounts in category over here in this field. So for building insurance, uh, we can select a GL account over here that I just created 8150 which is building insurance for car insurance 8540. So those are the accounts 8150 where I post the building insurance and 8540 where I post the car insurance. These can be any accounts according to your uh, chart of accounts definition. Now as you can see that the balance over here is zero that is because these are new accounts which I had created recently and there is no invoice that has been posted over here. So that's why these are zero. And once you start posting, uh, you will uh, see the balance as you can see for other accounts. Now, when you indent these subcategories under insurance expense to make it a group, um, that does not mean that it will automatically calculate at the total. You actually have to specify, let's say for insurance expense, you have to specify uh, that the insurance expense is the addition of 8150 and the pipe symbol over here and 
8540. So now this insurance expense will contain the total of car insurance and building insurance. And once you start posting the invoice, the total will be shown over here. So this is how you can create and maintain GL account subcategories. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Do share your comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.